So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another class of PIB 247. In today's session guys, we'll be talking about uh, the PIB news from 15th to 16th of May 2023 and there are some various uh, important news today. So please uh, listen to all the news and questions carefully. All right. So let's talk about the very first question without any delay. And it is about a scheme which is ramp scheme which was launched last year, right? So there are, you know, very high chances that in your exam question from this scheme is coming. So you need to identify the incorrect statement about raising and accelerating MSME performance scheme, which in short is ramp, right? But as I told you, the scheme was launched last year in the year 2022. Then why we are discussing it today? Because very recently, very recently, Ministry of MSME has organized the very first meeting of the National MSME Council. Right, there is a national MSME council which has been constituted, and the very first meeting of this council has taken place. Right, has been organized by the Ministry of MSME, headed by Mr. Narayan Rane. Narayan Rane is the Minister of MSME. Now, why this national MSME council uh, has been established? What is the objective? So, it has been set up to oversee inter central ministerial or departments coordination. Right, it has been set up for maintaining center and state synergies and of course it has been set up to advise or monitor the progress of all the reforms which are mandated in the MSME sector and also to uh, give overall guidance overall uh, you know overall guidance to all the schemes which are being implemented by the ministry of MSME all right and also to review the performance of those schemes as well okay so that is the objective for which the national MSME council has been set up now, the very first meeting of this council was a uh, game and emphasis on the ramp scheme, which is raising and accelerating MSME performance. And that's why we are discussing about uh, the ramp scheme. So ramp scheme was launched last year. And as the name suggests, raising and accelerating performance of MSME. So how we can raise and accelerate the performance of MSMEs, right? By giving some kind of support to them. Now, what kind of support is this? The support is access to market and credit and also to address all the issues of delayed payments and greening of MSMEs, right? So market access, payment say related job issues, all those issues will be solved, will be uh, taken into account uh, under this particular scheme, okay? Now talking more about this scheme, the total outlay is 6062.45 crore. And remember, it is a World Bank assisted central sector scheme. And for those who don't know, what is a central sector scheme? So central sector schemes, guys, are those under which the funding is provided by entirely by the government of India while centrally sponsored schemes. There, are, there is another type of scheme that is centrally sponsored scheme under which the funding is shared between whatever the outlay of that particular scheme is shared between center and the respective state governments which are implementing it. Okay? So I hope this is clear. So it is a World Bank assisted scheme and how much amount uh, the World Bank is giving as assistance. So that's 3750 crores, right? And what amount is given by the Ministry of MSME, Madhulab Central Government, so that's 2312.45 crores. Okay? Do remember this, these amounts are important. Duration of this scheme will be 5 years and of course the Ministry is the Ministry of MSME. Now this scheme will support various COVID-19 resilience and recovery interventions of the Ministry. So if any MSME is still recovering, actually there are various MSMEs which are still recovering. Uh, from the major negative impacts of COVID-19. So uh, this scheme will provide support to those MSMEs, right? And how this scheme will be implemented, how the funds will be managed. So remember the funds will flow through ramp through this scheme into the ministry's budget against agreed disbursement linked indicators. Now, what are these disbursement linked indicators? There are six disbursement linked in indicators based on which the funding will be provided to the programs which are being implemented by the Ministry of MSME. Okay? So the funds will flow through ramp into Ministry's budget against agreed DLIs to support ongoing MSME programs focusing on improving the market access and competitiveness. Alright, I hope this point is clear. And its monitoring and policy overview will be done by Apex National MSME Council which is meeting abhi hui hai. Okay? Now what are the six? Which are those six DLIs? These are the six DLIs which you don't have to remember at all. Aapko yaad karne ki nahi hai. This I have provided just for the understanding that these six DLIs are 
So number one is implementing the national MSME reform agenda, accelerating MSME sector, center state collaboration, enhancing effectiveness of technology upgradation scheme, strengthening receivable, uh, receivable financing market for MSMEs, enhancing effectiveness of credit guarantee trust for micro and small enterprises and greening and gender delivery. And finally, reducing the incidence of delayed payments. Okay. So based on six, these six DLIs, the payments, uh, the funds will flow from RAM to the government's budget, to the ministry's budget. And then from that amount, uh, the market access and competitiveness will be strengthened of the affected MSMEs. Okay. So that is all about this news, guys. And now let's come back to the question. We need to identify the incorrect statement. It was launched in 2022 by Ministry of MSME, correct? It is a World Bank assisted, centrally sponsored scheme. So this one is incorrect because it is a World Bank assisted, yes. But it is not a centrally sponsored scheme, but a central sector scheme. Which means the correct answer guys to this question will be option B. Alright. Let's move ahead to question number 2 or ask a session thoda sa lamba hoga. So please, sunte rahe chup chap se. Where has the Startup India, which works, of course, under DPIIT and DPIIT works under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, headed by Piyush Goyal, uh, organized the third edition of SEO Startup Forum in physical format for the first time. So this was the third edition of SEO Startup Forum. Before this, the two formats have been conducted, have been organized in virtual format. So this is for the very first time that the SEO Startup Forum has been conducted in physical format. Okay. So remember, it has been organized in New Delhi. It has been organized in New Delhi. And of course, the objectives uh, were to expand the scope of startup among the STO member nations and also to nurture the spirit of innovation and generate more employment for the youths. Right? It was organized in the form of first ever physical mode, which I have already told you. Other than this, there is no need to study anything. There is no need. And therefore, the correct answer is option E, New Delhi. What is the correct answer? Option A, New Delhi. Let's talk about question number three. All right. So which ministry or ministries will be developing the carbon credit trading scheme to develop the Indian carbon market? Right. Carbon credit trading scheme develop ki jayegi abhi ki nahi gai hai. So jitna bhi news mein tha, I have covered uh, everything. But in future, when this scheme will be launched, we will discuss it in much detail. Okay? So it is the Bureau of Energy Efficiency, which works under the Ministry of Power in collaboration with Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Ministry of Power is headed by Mr. R.K. Singh and Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change is headed by Mr. Bhupendra Yadav. Okay? So both these ministries are developing the carbon credit trading scheme and from the Ministry of Power side, the nodal agency is Bureau of Energy Efficiency. Do remember this as well. Okay. Now the objective of this scheme will be to Nancy clear in a carbon credit trading scheme, which means this scheme will be developed for trading of the carbon credits. Okay. <clears throat> so to decarbonize the Indian. Now, what is the meaning of carbon credit by the way? So let's say there is a there is a company X. Okay. Or usko carbon emission ka kuch target diya tha government ne. Right. Let's say ki, uh, uh, 50 units ka target tha ki aap itna emission kam karoge. Hai? But wo 45 units kam kar, kar paaya. Right? So 5 units jo the wo baj gai. Right? And now let's say there is a company Y. It was also given the target to uh, reduce the emission by 50 units. But it has reduced uh, the emission by 55 units. So it has reduced the emission by extra 5 units. Hai? So this company X can buy these extra five carbon credits. So yes, carbon credit ho jayega, this company Y ke liye. and to balance out this, hai, to balance out this, ye wala jo X ka reh gaya hai, this X company can buy these five carbon credits from this company Y. So isiliye ab kyunki usko kharidna padega to paise dene padenge. Theek hai, to isiliye companies motivate hongi ki wo carbon ki emission ko hi kam kare. Right? So that, that is the meaning of carbon credit, right? So the objective is of course to decarbonize the Indian economy by pricing the greenhouse gas emission through trading of the carbon credit and it will enhance the energy transition efforts of course with an increased scope that will cover the potential energy sector of the nation and for these sectors greenhouse gas emissions 
इंटेंसिटी बेंचमार्क एंड टारगेट विल बी डेवलप ठीक है देखो जो ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशन के टारगेट है वो डेवलप किए जाएंगे बिकॉज द स्कीम हैज नॉट बीन ऑफिशियली लॉन्च राइट नाउ एंड दीज टारगेट विल बी अलाइंड विद द इंडिया एमिशन प्रोजेक्ट्री वट एवर इंडिया टारगेट आर ठीक है सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस सो द करेक्ट आंसर बी वॉट करेक्ट आंसर विल बी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर एंड एनवायरमेंट फॉर क्लाइमेट चेंज विच मीन ऑप्शन डी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन डी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर Which ministry has organized the G20 conference on crime and security in the age of NFTs, which is non-fungible tokens, AI and metaverse, in Gurugram in Haryana under India's G20 presidency? Okay. So this ministry is the Ministry of Home Affairs headed by Mota Bhai Amit Shah. Okay. Ji, so the Ministry of Home Affairs has organized the G20 conference on crime and security in the age of NFTs, AI and metaverse in Gurugram in Haryana. Now remember, there uh, the partnership was there from other ministries and organisations as well. Ministry of Electronics and IT, External Affairs, National Security Council Secretariat, and CBI. Okay, CBI is Central Bureau of Investigation. I hope you all know this. And there are certain other organisation uh, organising partners like Rashtriya Raksha University, National Forensic Science University, National Law School of India University, Interpol, and uh, United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. ठीक है, दिस मच इंफॉर्मेशन इज इनफ एंड हेल्स द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स ऑप्शन डी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पोर्ट शिपिंग एंड वॉटरवेज हैज सिक्योर्ड द सेकंड पोजीशन अमंग 66 मिनिस्ट्रीज इन डेटा गवर्नेंस क्वालिटी इंडेक्स असेसमेंट फॉर फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी क्वार्टर थ्री क्वार्टर थ्री इज डिसंबर क्वार्टर विथ स्कोर ऑफ फोर आउट ऑफ फाइव it is conducted by development monitoring and evaluation office this office functions under which of these organization theek hai to ab aap ye kahoge ki yaar second to ministry of port shipping and waterways hai then which ministry has secured the first position to ye information kahi mili nahi yaar pib mein kisi ministry ke release mein nahi tha and whatever pib releases are printed exactly in the newspapers so i could not find it in the newspapers as well official mein bhi nahi mila official mein bhi inhone upload hi nahi kiya hai so once uploaded i'll tell you about the uh, ministry which has secured the first position theek hai and don't worry exam mein bhi wahi aayega jo news mein hota hai of, of course examiners will not go to the uh, official website of uh, you know data governance quality index and find out okay which ministry is number 1 okay so i i will ask this question to the candidate aisa nahi hota right so ministry of port shipping and waterways has secured the second position in the data governance quality index The score it has scored is 4.7 out of 5. ठीक है? This is the news. But what is data governance index? What is that? Data governance quality index. Index. So remember, this index measures the quality of administrate administration. ठीक है? Overall, it measures the level of administrative data systems and their use in decision making of various ministries departments on the implementation of central sector schemes and centrally sponsored schemes. ठीक है जी इट इज कंडक्टेड बाय डेवलपमेंट मॉनिटरिंग एंड इवेल्युएशन ऑफिस ऑफ नीति आयोग दिस ऑफिस वर्क अंडर नीति आयोग एंड द असेसमेंट इज डन बेस्ड ऑन सिक्स पैरामीटर्स व्हिच आर दीज डेटा जनरेशन डेटा क्वालिटी यूज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी डेटा एनालिसिस यूज एंड डिसमिनेशन एंड डेटा सिक्योरिटी एंड एच आर ठीक है सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस न्यूज एंड Niti Aayog should be the correct answer, guys. To this question, option C. Let's talk about question number six. Which center has been established by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs for providing hassle-free filing, timely and process-bound striking of companies from MCA register? Ministry of Corporate Affairs register. So basically, abhi kya hota hai na ki agar mujhe koi company band bhi karni hai na, to usme bhi bilkul sardar do jata. So to remove that sardar, to remove that hassle. Ministry of Corporate Affairs has launched a center, which is C Pace. Which is what C Pace. Now, what is C Pace? Center for Processing Accelerated Corporate Exit, right? Center for Processing Accelerated Corporate Exit, and it has been set up with the objective of providing hassle-free, timely, and process-bound striking of companies from the MCA register. ठीक है इसी साल establish हुआ है under. सब सेक्शन वन ऑफ सेक्शन थ्री नाइनटी सिक्स ऑफ कंपनीज एक्ट 
ये सेक्शन याद रखना बिकॉज आरबीआई एच आर का अगर आरबीआई का अगर दिमाग खराब हुआ तो आरबीआई कैन आस्ट दिस एज वेल सेक्शन थ्री नाइनटी सिक्स ऑफ कंपनीज है The headquarters, this center will be housed by Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs in Gurugram, and it will operate through ROC, which is Registrar of Companies. Okay, for the purposes of exercising functional jurisdiction of processing and disposal of applications. All right. So that is all about C pace, and that's why the correct answer is this only C pace option D because the name of the center has been asked. Let's talk about question number seven. Important questions. How many? Railway stations have been covered with 785 OSOP, which is one station, one product outlets in 21 states and three UTs across the country. So, one station, one product scheme was launched on the lines of one district, one product scheme, right? Under which uh, one station, one station pe promote, uh, promote kiya jata hai, one product. Under which one product is promoted at one station, okay? And that product, of course, is लोकल प्रोडक्ट ठीक है वैसा नहीं है कि न्यू दिल्ली रेलवे स्टेशन पे भोपाल का प्रोडक्ट प्रमोट होगा ऑफ कोर्स ऐसे तो नहीं होगा राइट सो वन स्टेशन वन प्रोडक्ट स्कीम एंड इट इज इन न्यूज बिकॉज कुछ मीटिंग वगैरह हुई थी सो दैट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट वट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस इज दिस स्कीम दी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस स्कीम इज टू प्रमोट वोकल फॉर लोकल विजन ऑफ देंट्रल गवर्नमेंट देयर बाय प्रोमोटिंग द लोकल प्रोडक्ट एट द लोकल रेलवे स्टेशन राइट लॉन्च लास्ट ईयर एंड एज ऑन फर्स्ट मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री Seven eight seven twenty eight stations are covered with seven eighty five OSOP products. Okay, and these uh, are in twenty one states and three UTs. Okay, now talking more about it. So under it, what happens? OSOP outlets are at railway stations are allotted for showcasing, selling, and uh, marketing, giving high visibility to the indigenous or the local products. And these OSOP stalls are designed through national design. इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर यूनिफॉर्मिटी ये भी याद रखना इंपॉर्टेंट है नेशनल डिजाइन इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर यूनिफॉर्मिटी ने इन स्टॉल्स को डिजाइन uh, किया है एंड ओ एस ओ पी आर स्पेसिफिक टू दैट प्लेस ऑफकोर्स ठीक है ये तो बहुत बेसिक सी बात है एंड दीज आर दी प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरीज दीज आर दी प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरीज इन कैटेगरीज के प्रोडक्ट लगाए जाएंगे स्टेशन रेलवे स्टेशन पे हैंडीक्राफ्ट और आर्टीक्राफ्ट टेक्सटाइल्स इन हैंडलूम ट्रेडिशनल गार्मेंट्स एंड लोकल एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस इंक्लूडिंग मिलेट्स ऑफकोर्स एंड प्रोसेस्ड और सेमी प्रोसेस्ड फूड्स ठीक है जी सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस एंड हाउ मेनी रेलवे स्टेशन सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द क्वेश्चन इन शॉर्ट बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू है पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस क्लास यू कैन ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड लेट मी टेल यू वेरी ऑनेस्टली दैट इफ यू एस द एग्जामिनेशन Who want to ace the examination this year? You can enroll in this course, crash course, which provides you uh, with the holistic coverage of the entire syllabus along with the mock test and personalized mentorship program. Question number eight: With which organization has Ministry of Ayush has signed an MOU to promote and collaborate on integrative health research? Right. So just in in MOU type of question, you need to remember. between which organizations the mou has been signed and the objective of that mou so objective of this mou is to promote and collaborate on integrative health research in the area of ayush of course right and the mou has been signed between ayush ministry and icmr which is indian council of medical research theek okay? hai question number 9 where is ministry of power organizing the third energy transition working group meeting under india's g20 presidency the first meeting took place in bangalore and yes people were asking about ki ek uh, combined session of all the g20 uh, programs kar liya jaye so i will be taking that don't worry theek hai second one will second one took place in gandhinagar the third one will took place in will take place in mumbai option d uh which project has been adopted during the 8th meeting of agriculture ministers of sco held virtually under the sco presidency of india right so inhone bas naam bataya project ka uske bare mein kuch detail batayi nahi hai so kuch detail aayegi to we'll discuss in detail but abhi ke liye the name of the project is smart agriculture project to make the agriculture smart question number 
वेर हैज दी ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ बाय एनुअल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ ऑल इंडिया प्राइमरी टीचर्स फेडरेशन अखिल भारतीय शिक्षा संघ अधिवेशन ठीक है बीन हेल्ड सो इट टुक प्लेस इन गांधीनगर ऑप्शन सी वंस अगेन इज दी करेक्ट आंसर वेर इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द सेकेंड कल्चर वर्किंग ग्रुप मीटिंग अंडर इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी सो द फर्स्ट वन द फर्स्ट वन टुक प्लेस इन खजुराहो वेर इज खजुराहो बताओ भाई मध्य प्रदेश में है ना एंड सेकेंड वन विल टेक प्लेस इन भुवनेश्वर इन उड़ीसा क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन वेर हैज जी सेवन हेल्थ मिनिस्टेरियल मीटिंग ऑन ग्लोबल हेल्थ आर्किटेक्चर हेल्थ दिस मीटिंग इन इन दिस मीटिंग ऑल द जी सेवन कंट्रीज पार्टिसिपेटेड अलॉन्ग विद इंडिया इंडिया वियतनाम थाईलैंड एंड आई एम फॉरगेटिंग द नेम ऑफ फोर्थ कंट्री फोर अदर कंट्रीज वर इन्वाइटेड इंडिया वियतनाम थाईलैंड एंड आई एम फॉरगेटिंग द नेम ऑफ द फोर्थ कंट्री ओके आई टेल यू इन द कमेंट सेक्शन दिस मीटिंग टुक प्लेस इन नागा सांकी ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर इंडिया वियतनाम थाईलैंड एंड आई एम फॉरगेटिंग द नेम ऑफ फोर्थ कंट्री ओके नो वरीज आई टेल यू इन द कमेंट सेक्शन द नेम ऑफ द फोर्थ कंट्री to promote atmanirbharta in defense and minimize imports by defense public sector undertaking this is a very very important question guys fourth positive indigenization uh, list has been released by the government to kitne product hai unka import substitution value kitna hai so the product is 928 worth import substitution value of 715 crores option e is the correct answer all right question number 15 National Technology Week took place from 11th to 14th of May at Pragati Maidan in New Delhi. What was the theme? What was the theme of National Technology Week? Important question. The theme was School to Startup, igniting young minds to innovate. School to Startup, igniting young minds to innovate was the theme of National Technology Week. And option D is the correct answer. 16. Ministry of Power has constituted a group. for development of electricity market in india under the chairmanship of mr alok kumar who is the secretary in the ministry of power with representation from ministry of power ministry of new and renewable energy central electricity authority cerc electricity regulatory commission grid controller of india along with state governments of which of these states kon kon si state governments thi is committee mein so it uh, you know Uh, the state governments of Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu were there, and that's why the correct answer is again option D, one, three, and five. Question number seventeen: Ministry of Power has notified uh, electricity promoting renewable energy through green energy open access rules 2022 to further accelerate India's ambitious renewable energy programs with the objective of ensuring access to affordable, reliable, sustainable. and green energy for all these steps are a major step towards india's ongoing green and cutting emissions by what percent in line with india's updated nationally determined contribution target for which year so very easy question bahut bar padha hoga aapne 45% in 2030 right and guys the last question for today which portal or portals have been developed by the ministry of environment forest and climate change to create a structured reporting format that can track the progress being made on mission life lifestyle for environment so these are the two portal mission life and merry life right these are the two portals mission life and merry life portal which have been launched and that's why the correct answer is option d theek hai ji aur fourth country ka naam abhi bhi mere ko yaad nahi aaya but i'll tell you in the comment section all right so that is all for today and i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear If you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much and i will see you in the next session on friday goodbye take care and god bless